Imagination is the key to unlocking a door. Beyond it is the ninth dimension. A dimension of glue. A dimension of foam board. A dimension of plastic. You're moving into a world of baking powder and super sculpy, of pigment powder and dry brush. You've just crossed over into the scratch building zone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I recently purchased this from Amazon at a silly price just so I could get the posable stormtrooper. And the simple reason why is because I wanted to see if I could make my own Star Wars speeder for the figure. So without further ado, let's start scratching that build. Okay, I'll just play with him for a few more minutes. So to start with, I'm just going to size some empty yogurt bottles uh, that were going to be the main engine of the speeder. I'm going to use three of them just to make it uh, big and bulky and plus three is one of my lucky numbers. I used uh, thin styrene just to uh, cover the uh, the bottle tops and then quickly stuck it all down then I broke out some plastic spoons cut them down and then stuck them to the uh, bottles so that they would act as the uh, main chassis for the speeder I used my main combo of super glue, baking powder and glue accelerator just so I could get it to stick and I knew it wasn't going to move. Then it was a quick test fit just to make sure that the figure looked okay to what I've built so far. Then a plastic clothes peg cut into two parts will cover the spoons nicely. Q-tips cut down will serve their new purpose as grills for the front of the engines and handles for the side. These Q-tips sadly are the cardboard kind um, because the plastic ones don't exist anymore. So if you're in possession of some plastic Q-tips, keep them safe because they're going to be worth a lot of money. Now look away all you Star Wars toy collectors because I'm getting medieval on this toy. So with the toy cut down into little bits, I can now add it to mine and I'm going to start by using the um, footrests and I'm going to stick that onto the back of the chassis. Then I'm going to use some cardboard just to make a quick, simple and easy seat for Jeff the Stormtrooper. Yes, that's right. I've named my Stormtrooper Jeff. This is a piece of random Lego that I like the shape of and it looked like a vent so I'm going to stick that onto the top of one of the bottles just to give it some sort of like a visor sort of look then I'm just going to stick the cardboard seat down there's no expense spared on this build and then it's just adding the random little bits and pieces that I managed to salvage from the actual toy to stick it onto my toy I repurposed the grills onto my toy as, well, 
grills and I'll use random little pieces of cardboard just to put inside the grills so on closer inspection the grills actually serve a purpose. Having cut down the um, handlebars I then attach them to my toy just so it saves time and faffing about on making a new set of handlebars. Then cutting circles out of cardboard I attach strips of cardboard which will then be stuck onto the back of the bottles to hide the labels and the, uh, the little compressed numbers that you find underneath all these kind of bottles. Next I'm super gluing some random offcuts of styrene uh, to stick onto the bottles just so it looks like panelling and that is if I can make it stick and it stops sticking to my fingers. Now in my head I thought about it and it was a good idea but in practice it became a bit of a nightmare and I had more styrene stuck to my fingers than any other part of this build. And while you're watching me struggle trying to stick this styrene to the uh, one of the engines, now's a good time to say thank you very much for your support. Um, keep subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It's free to subscribe and will cost you a penny, but it helps out the channel immensely. It makes me happy when I see a new subscriber. Thank you. Then I added two spoons, roughed up to within an inch of their lives. Uh, they're stuck down either side of the um, speeder, just so they look like blast shields. And hopefully, once I've painted this uh, with the texture I put on the spoons, it should sort of show up. Now with everything stuck on and all the greeblies in place, I'll just do a quick test fit with Jeff uh, just to make sure that he sits okay on the speeder and it's to within some sort of scale of the Stormtrooper. Then the ace cameraman I am, I forgot to film me priming the speeder with just a rattle can of black. So while the speeder quietly sits in a corner drying, I'm just going to put some uh, tacky glue onto the base of the XPS foam ready for cat litter. And yes, the cat litter was clean when I put it onto the base. Basically the cat litter is the ideal size stones, well it will look like stones once I've uh, painted it. Um, so I'm just going to put this either side and then put smaller stones in the middle so it looks like there's been some sort of tracks uh, or the, the air from the jet engines has moved all the larger stones to one side uh, when it zips past um, just over the ground. So once the, um, the tacky glue is dried then I'm just going to squirt a load of watered down PVA glue all over the base just to make sure that everything isn't going to fall off. And then once that's dried I'll just do a quick test fit using some um, toothpicks just to uh, elevate the speeder just slightly off the ground and then paint the base which was a couple of colours, different colours, lighter shades of burnt sienna. Then I'm going to use these grass tufts just to break up the, uh, the brownness of the uh, base. Now the reason I can use super glue on the XPS foam and it not melt through is simply because it's coated in so much glue that the glue acts as the barrier. Then I slowly start painting the speeder white 
and build up the layers, letting each layer dry. Uh, and then I'll uh, weather it and um, it will be ready. Now, unfortunately, the reason why I can't uh, show you the weathering bit is simply because I forgot to press record on my camera. Yes, I know, but at least I've got lots of lovely pictures that you can see. And so basically it was just primed it all in black, then hit it with the white and then just went over it with different shades of uh, black and brown just to give it a dirty look and then use some red uh, pigment powder just to give it that um, different texture look and that's how I built my first scale speeder thank you for watching if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe leave a comment and uh, until next time keep scratching that build everybody <laughs>